So, um, here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics, we got our first Apple iPads in this past weekend. And we do think it's pretty much the perfect platform for viewing our digital textbooks, our PDFs. But you may have realized that it's uh, not, Apple hasn't made it that easy to get PDFs onto your, onto your iPad. It's, um, you can't download them through browsers. Uh, it's not that easy to transfer them. There's some third-party apps that will do it, but um, one of them, one of the apps in particular, Goodreader, it seems to be the best for us. Uh, Goodreader is 99 cents, so it's not, gonna, it's not gonna cost you much. It's not free, but it's close to it. Um, it has a built-in browser, so that, and that browser will download files, um, and then you get the PDF in Goodreader, and Goodreader displays the PDF better than if you viewed it in Safari, because it actually has all the hyperlinks active. So we just want to give you a brief demonstration of, of how you would grab our textbook with Goodreader and just so, some very few Goodreader features. This isn't meant to be a complete demonstration, but enough to get you started. So um, here's our iPad. I'll turn it on. Here's Goodreader. Right now, I don't have our textbook in there. I wanted to show you how to grab it. So in this pane on the right, there's um, Web Downloads. Select that. You get two choices. Browse the web and enter URL. I'm going to give you the direct URL to our PDF textbook so that you don't have to try to fill out a form. So select Enter URL. It puts in HTTP colon slash slash www dot. Type in Center of Math. org um, and then you'll need to put in um, a slash and then www underscore diff d i f f underscore calc c a l c and then dot pdf hit OK and you see a little download progress bar it uh, it's we have a fast fairly fast connection here. So it's coming in fairly rapidly. It's a 12.3 megabyte file. I guess it's going to take about another five seconds. Or, oops, is it just slowed down? Okay, maybe another 10 seconds. And then we'll have the PDF. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, waiting. Okay. Um, and it appears over here in the My Documents column. I thought there was a problem. It didn't appear instantly. Select it. And you see our textbook, and there are all these controls visible now. They'll disappear in a, in a second or a couple of seconds when I don't do anything. But if you just tap quickly in the center of the screen, they all reappear. You can scroll through the pages with that control on the left. Uh, you can go back to the screen we were at with uh, the My Documents screen. Um, you turn page, turn page, you just flip up and down. Uh, those are easy. Uh, the controls at the bottom, um, you can explore them yourselves. This one makes things dimmer and brighter. There's a lock on the, on the right which stops the, the PDF from changing orientation when you rotate um, your iPad. Um, but we'll let you explore those. What we'd like to show you is um, ah, I see we already have one of the features on. I meant for it to be off by default because that's how it starts. Back here at the My Documents screen, there's this gear symbol down at the bottom. That's the Settings button. If you go to that and select Viewing PDF Files, then you get this scrollable window. And if you scroll down, you'll see that one of the selections is Show Link Bounds. For PDF links and we've turned it on. It starts off off by default. I turn that on and when you do that it means that all the hyperlinks in the book will appear with a box around them like that one. Like you know example 1.4.14 now has a blue box around it and when you hit it you of course go leaping off. I can shrink this page, make the page grow with the multi, with the multi finger gestures um, you can go back to where you were. You need the controls, so tap quickly in the center. 
Um, here's a back button, this arrow that points to the left. Hit that, and you're back to where you were before you clicked on the example 1.4.14. Um, let me show you, so you can just scroll through pages, the colors come up, it looks, the, we're very pleased with how our book looks on the iPad, it looks great. Okay, so if you want to play one of our videos and it, uh, the amount of time it will take to uh, have it come up, depends on your download speed, just click on one of these or touch one of those videos. It tells you it's an online video. There it is. Its orientation will change as you do as you turn your iPad. Um, all the controls have vanished again, just like they did in the PDF viewer. But if you tap the center, they will come back. Uh, there's a, a lock here for locking the orientation of the video, which is very nice. Um, I'll unlock it. There are the, the controls, the video controls don't seem to be there. If when that bar is there, you tap it, you get the video controls, you can pause it. The bar is there. It's, um, it took us a while to understand what was going on here. If you wait, you can activate the controls again. It's, uh, so there they, that's fine. But, if you try to, when the controls first come up, they're not active down here. You can't pause, you can't do anything. The control, well, I waited too long, but if you wait for the controls to disappear and then bring them back, when you first bring them back, they're not active. You have to wait. We timed it, it's about four seconds. Um, if you try to get them to be active by tapping again, they just disappear, which is the point. If you accidentally activated them, they don't want them to stay up there, but you wait one. They, they actually change color and appearance, but that will be hard to see. Now, now it's done it. Oop, but I waited for them to vanish. Wait. One, two, three. Now. And then you can, you can pause it. Um, all right. Well, that's about all we wanted to show you. It's, uh, that was just a quick, a quick demo. Uh, the book looks great on this. Uh, we highly recommend viewing it on an iPad. I, we think about the day when all your textbooks will be on an iPad. So that's it. Have fun with your iPad and good luck.